A hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to work on AWS code commit with using VS code. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my demo where you know I'm gonna show you you know how we can you know clone AWS code commit repositories with using Visual Studio Code, which is as an IDE tool, and from there we can do all those developer tasks, you know, developing your code. Once the code is developed, you can you know push your you know code to the repository that is upstream repository. Here is you know AWS code commit. Yeah. So here the main aim is you know to enable you how you can leverage Visual Studio Code to clone the repository which is sitting in AWS code commit and do all those developer tasks. Okay. All right. So in this demo, we have one prerequisite that is we need to have an IAM user with the required permissions and that user permissions will be used to clone the repository and you know to interact with the AWS code commit repository right so here I mean going to I will going to show you the first prerequisite how you can create the you know I am user with only required permissions right and also getting the required credentials out of that I am user yeah and post that I will take you to the AWS code commit you know service page and from there we create a repository we create the branches and finally we try to you know clone the repository and and how we can work on that repository from the vs code okay so here the first prerequisite is you should have an im user with the required permissions okay so for this case i will create an im user from im service and uh, the im username i have already created some string something like user you know vs uh, coder user so this is my username I will select you know let's consider this user as a you know interactive login user we will give the console user data and password that is password I have already created a password for this user that is I am user I will copy paste that and I will click on next in this one this is permissions box in this one we will choose the attach existing policy directly and then we're gonna search with the string called code commit in this one you need to choose code commit power user permissions that's the only permissions which we need finally review and create a user okay so this will create a, an im user in you know in the in the aws im service and this user will be used to clone the you know code commit repository and also interact with your code commit repository during your development scenarios okay so here once the im user has been created we need to do one more task that is you know we need to clone the code commit security credentials so if you go to the security and credentials down the line if you see here we have not given any you know original access key id and secrets are not been created if you follow down and there is an option called https get credentials for code commit okay so this is the place where you can create required credentials of an im user which he can leverage to communicate with the code commit through tools like ide tools like you know visual studio code right so for that case i'm gonna create a, a credentials here you need to click on the generate credential button this will pop up and here we're gonna copy the username and password in a notepad plus plus okay so i, I will use notepad plus plus this is the user id and this is the password you can download as well but here i'm just copying right yeah so this is the prerequisite and we are done with it okay so remember that you know here we have given only one permission that is aws code commit power user right now with that i will go to the next option that is you know developer tool code commit service page right and i am in my aws account in this aws account right so this is my aws account so here only the tabs are different so this is also my aws account and this is also my aws account i have opened in two google chrome tabs yeah here i will create a code commit repository and let me call it as a my you know channel name that is cloud quick labs so this is my repository name in this repository if we go down we can create a files directly I will click on button called create files and here 
I will just add some dummy contents, okay? Test content. And then we give the file name something like this. Yeah, and then author name. I will give my author name. Then email address, I will use my email address. And finally, we are done. Click on commit changes. And then you have your repository with the folder structure ready. Right? So I'm going to show you this. And then this repository has a default branch called main branch. I'm going to show you how we can create one more branch as well. That is, let's call it as a dev branch and from main branch and click on create branch okay so with this if you go to the repository you have two branches now so i will go and uh, show you the branches from here right now you have the two branches okay so with that now we go our original the aim of this mo that is how aim of this video that is how we can clone it right so for this case you just select this repository copy and click on the clone HTTPS. The clone URL will be selected automatically or copied automatically. Now time to go to the, you know, in the Visual Studio code and clone it off, right? So I will go to the Visual Studio code. This is my Visual Studio code, which I wanted to show you here. In this one, I need to clone that repository, right? Which is hosted in AWS code commit, right? I will click on code uh, clone repository. I will give this link and hit enter right so it will ask you to you know choose a right folder path where you need to store this uh, you know these uh, uh, data or uh, the source you know source code and it will start initiate the cloning the git repository right and once everything is good it will pop up you for the credentials if you see here there is an pop up right and this is the place where you need to provide the git credentials which we created for an IAM user that is code commit credentials, right? So which with that's the reason, you know, we created a code commit credentials for an IAM user, right? I will copy that. I'm going to put it here. Similarly, password as well. I'm going to delete this IAM user after my demo. So you don't need to try it out from your side. Once you put in user and password, click on OK. And that's all. It will initiate the cloning up your repo automatically okay so here you go right so looks like repo is cloned and it has suggested us to open it if you see here so our repository is you know our git commit repository is cloned right so this is the git commit, you know, git commit repository which is cloned from visual studio code and now you are ready to use this repository for your development purpose okay if i can show you we have the index.html file we have the uh, development and main branches you see we have a main and we have a developer branches i'm going to make some changes here down the line so something like this yeah and i'm going to save this so i'm showing you cloning and also few developer tasks as well okay you go to the source control and again I will stage this change. I will commit some something like test commit. I will give the message as a test and I will commit this code. And then it shows us the synchronization change. Okay. If I click on this sync changes, it will synchronize the changes from this you know, uh, from the downstream to the upstream. That is upstream is AWS codes commit and downstream is my local repository, right? All right, if we go back to the uh, repositories and then switch to the development branch and I will go to the solutions test and open the index.html file which is where we, I, we made the changes. Here we have a dollar dollar sign. If I switch to the main branch, we don't have any dollar dollar, okay? Now I will show you one more thing that is pull request. How we can create pull request? So if I click on create pull request choose your source as the dev and destination is as main and click on compare right and it will show that you know it is mergeable in the sense there is some changes are there 
which can be merged okay so if we go down you see the you now uh, the changes okay so here you know it is adding some dollar dollar yeah all right so you can make it unified or split as well so in the sense it will show you in you know, a two parts this is the original and this is the you know final something like that yeah all right and finally we can give some title of the pr saying like a you know, test pr and then your pull request will be here is a create pull request button you just click on that your pull request is ready now right see activities changes right so this is what the changes shows this is the commit this is the approval list here there is no approach but this is what it shows and here you can merge the pull request merging pull request is what you know you are basically you know make a or basically committing to the destination code you know destination branch yeah so i just merged it if we go back to the code again and switch to the main branch so this currently i am in a main branch go to the solutions test index now we have that change has been replicated yeah all right so with that note i have successfully shown you the things to be shown in this video finally a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video